Hey you guys, welcome to Cooking with Gigi. Hey, I just got back from church. I'm feeling good today. I had a really good week. I'm ready to start this week. Get on track. Stay on track. Live focused in faith. Highly favor in the name of. Alright, so we're going to get right into it today. I'm going to cook fried chicken. I got some leftover steamed rice. So I'm just going to reheat it. And then I'm doing some yams right now. I'm boiling the yams. And I just got some string beans on low steam, uh, low, low simmer. I'm just steaming them. And we're going to get it started. I'm going to start cutting the chicken. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to do fried chicken, yams, string beans, uh, rice and gravy, and yams. Oh, that sounds good, huh? I can't wait. Ah, okay, hold Okay, on. you guys, let's get on into this. This House of Potomac, boy, is a trip. We're going to do chicken thighs. And you guys, I'm going to show you how I cut them if you haven't seen my previous videos. You just cut it along that bone. You see that bone? Cut it. If you, That's that's up to you, but I don't like no big old white. Uh, I don't like no big chicken thigh. I don't like big meat, but I like chicken thighs because they're cheap. And y'all know what my show is based on. Saving a buck, okay? So uh, you can um keep the, you can keep this skin on or take it off. It doesn't matter. I buy them skinless. Sometimes I even get them boneless. But I like chicken thighs. I I don't really like chicken legs too much. See, we we'll just cut it right on through. It's still falling, but it's okay. We can start the seasoning process, right? So today I just got some regular seasonings. You see them right here, my, my OG onion powder. I don't have a cutting board. I don't even like cutting boards because stuff drips off of them. I like plates because when I'm seasoning, it holds the seasoning, the, 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 the wetness. You know, cutting boards, you cut on there and then it's dripping on the side. I don't like all that. I'm just real basic with my cooking. You know. Onion powder, garlic powder. I put a lot because I'm not going to be flipping it and seasoning on both sides. I'm going to just, just put it back in a bowl and just probably mix it all up. And then I got this seasoning from Dollar Tree, you guys. It is tasty, okay? It's a seafood uh, style. What is this? New Orleans seafood? It's New Orleans seasoning for uh, seafood. But it tastes good on fried chicken. It has all the stuff that I like already that's in it. I have all those, the, the Tony Satchers and stuff. Tony Satchers is kind of salty. And I don't taste, it's good. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fry it. It's good. You ready to eat? eat? I'm gonna use a little bit of oregano. I don't know if you guys are aware of Louisiana chicken. It's in California, like in uh, LA. California and they use oregano when they fry their chicken if you notice that green stuff in the batter that's what it is don't ask me how I know I don't know I just got a gift I know what it looks like I can tell from the smell I, it's oregano and a little bit of pepper and they also you guys if you didn't notice they season a chicken with a little sriracha I think I think it's sriracha but uh, I might show you guys that recipe one day you have to but not today today is just regular fried chicken okay now I just take one and you know dress the other one down sop it up I like a lot of season but I don't okay so you see how that's sitting I wish I could throw that on the grill I know y'all like dang she ain't gonna barbecue I wish I don't feel like going outside though. okay with this this is just some string beans and it's some bacon bits, but they're imitation because I'm cutting off, cutting the, the pork off, you guys. I'm sorry. I have to let it go. I have to let it go. It looks like another love TKO. I can't see nothing good, but I be trying. I'm going to put some white potatoes in here. And, uh, oops. I just use a little bit of bacon bit. I got some ham hocks in there now. Don't get it twisted. I know how to cook it that way, but it is just me and my baby, so... I don't need all that. So we just gonna put that in there, okay? 
The bacon bits is just going to give off that little taste you want. And yes, I spilled a little bit of it. Can you see it? I've already seasoned with a, salt, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. To give it a little home style taste, I'm going, I don't have a, the pork meat, so I'm going to use a little teaspoon of used chicken grease, okay? It's going to give it that taste that I want, or that you want. I can't do the pork, though. That's out. So we're going to put the top on that, let it cook for low for about Okay, this is my bowl that I'm going to do my batter with. I'm going to start off with a little bit of flour. There's only four pieces of chicken, so I'm going to try to batter exactly four pieces of chicken. You're going to eyeball. I'm an eyeball measure, okay? For those who don't know, I eyeball. Eyeball it. Okay, so that's just about a cup or two of flour. And this is cornmeal, you guys. We're going to put about almost the same amount, but not exactly. Now, with the cornmeal, what it does, if you guys ain't aware of it, I do it because I like that crunch it gives me. It gives me like a catfish uh, Sunday dinner crunch. I don't know. It's good. It, it's really crispy. It makes the chicken very crispy. Okay? Very. I'm going to season it a little bit with some of this uh, New Orleans seasoning. Add my powders, garlic powder. We got to season a batter too, you know, because you want it to taste good all the way through. Onion powder. We don't need no oregano, but we will add a little pepper. Okay. We just mix it around. That's all. Same thing with my fish. Instead, I don't put flour though. But just all when you guys uh, get some time, try it with the cornmeal. And I want you to come back in this comment. And I want you to tell me what do you think, okay? We're gonna start off with the big pieces because those take the longest. Y'all see my little belly out? Look at that little belly. Hey, hey. Ani, you gave me that belly. Yup, you did. Nah, I, I, sit down, no. It's hot. Okay. That's a pretty book. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, church was really good. It really was. It's always good. It's good to worship. Even if you worship at home, you know, everybody has their own preference. But me personally, I like to get it at church and even at home. I pray when time, times are good, even when times are even bad. I pray all the time, okay? Because I'm just, like, really thankful for so many things in my life, you guys. It's been a real struggle, but it's... It's getting better, and I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of my life. Okay, we're going to start off with these pieces. I'm going to show you how I throw them in, and then you know the rest. And then we're going to get back to checking with the stream beans. Like I said, you guys, I had to cut back on the, um, on the pork because it was breaking my skin out. I don't know if it was that or the makeup, but I've cut both of them off. And prayed over my skin, and it's been excellent. Okay, you guys. We got the chicken right here. Best way to uh, see if this grease is hot, swing a little cold water on my hand. You see that? Oh, yeah. It's time. Time to make that change. We are the people. We can do it with. Y'all don't remember that. That's like some old school 90s uh, righteous type fight for your rights music. I'm a 90s girl, but I'm an 80s baby. Okay, I'm just battering up the rest of the chicken. And like I said, you guys, try with the cornmeal. This is my sweet potatoes. I'm going to show you a quick recipe on how to do that and how to sweeten them up. Um, nothing extreme, just the regular, and it's going to be good. I don't have any marshmallows, no. I'm trying to cook healthy, but still give and get that southern taste. My nails are going to be ruined with all this fried 
mess flour all in my food. I mean, in my nails. This ain't cool. This is not cool. Remember, face down. So that's the way we. Hey, okay, okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm not gonna be able to get that piece in. Look at that chicken, y'all. Ooh. Okay, let's check the yam. I love the smell of fried chicken in the house. You can't go wrong with no fried chicken in the house. Can you, Ron? Yeah, that's that fried. Say chicken. That's right. Chicken good. Okay, I'm going to do a good tester. Oh, yeah, that went right through. Let's start the ends. I hope I can make them into ends because I cooked them too long. Okay, we're back. We're going to start on the yams. I'm going to show you a quick tip because I made them too mushy, but don't panic. Okay, you guys. Let's check this chicken. Oh, yes. Look at that golden brown. Look at that. Beautiful. It's hot as hell. Okay, that is the empty pot. We're going to start on the yam. Okay, we're going to start on the yam. I had to restart them over because I had some issues. I'm going to add a can of yams in here, okay, you guys? It's just a half a stick of butter, almost a half. We got Ancient Mama Butter Rich uh, Syrup. About a teaspoon, a about a teaspoon of nutmeg. A tablespoon of cinnamon. You can't go wrong with this. Even if you add too much or too less, you just really can't mess this up. It's not really and some sugar I don't have brown sugar that's why we're gonna use maple syrup okay now we're gonna take the yams that I boiled it wasn't that soft as I thought I like mine's kind of firm still Okay. My baby likes yams. She likes potatoes, period. Now, the softest ones are at the top. Okay, we got the softest ones on top. Gonna put a little bit more sugar. A little bit more cinnamon. We got the hard ones on the bottom, you guys, okay? Because they need to soften up and catch up. All right? I'm going to add a little bit more butter only at the top part. I should have put these in the oven, but it's okay. We're going to slap a top on those. And hit them on low. They're on low. Good to go. Remember I told you guys the perfect way to check food is done. It's going straight through. That's a done guy. Let's take a look at the string beans. Oh, they're soft. My bacon bits are turning pink. Water looks pink too. And it smells delicious. It smells good, y'all. Like for real, for real. They soft. 
you guys, white potatoes, okay? They're a little bit more pricier than russets, but they cook so fast. With all recipes so far, they've been good to me. We're going to take this, and we're going to put a little bit of... Uh, minced garlic I'm just kind of break those potatoes up a little bit you know I like mine's old school where they just kind of mush a little bit oops Look at that, you guys. And you know, it's healthy still. I use a, just a little bit of chicken oil, used chicken oil, but it's not too used. And then I put a little bit of um, salt and pepper and some imitation bacon bits. It still smells like that bacon smell. I'm sure it's going to taste like it, if not close. And we didn't have to pork it out. For those who don't eat pork, this is a good dish for you. You can use smoked turkey neck, smoked turkey, anything. Anything smoked, you can go for it. But I just like the bacon bits because it's quicker. I don't have to be boiling and burning at the house. And look at that, you guys. That's beautiful. Let's take a good close look. Look at that. Woo! Won't he do it? Got the last piece. Look at that. Look at this piece of chicken. Look how golden it is. You see that? You see those kernels from the uh, cornmeal? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look at my yams over here. Just look at them. Pay attention to that stove. It's going to be a little messy. Now I'm going to take that and just kind of. I'm not going to. I don't want to touch them because I don't want them to break, but I do want to mix it. So you just kind of flip it a little bit. And yes, that grease is hot, but I'm not scared of it. I've been frying chicken since 86. You add that up. <laughs> I'm dead serious, though. I've been frying chicken since the 80s. Now look at that, you guys. Them yams looking good, y'all. We got the with the canned ones mixed with the real ones. Look at my yam. Won't he do it? What? That's canned yams. That was some mixed yams y'all seen the little team. The stream beans is popping. Look at my look at that fried chicken. Nice, crunchy. Look at that. Look at them kernels. All right, I'm sure guys, we're gonna make the gravy to match the rice. So once again, we're gonna have rice and gravy, yams, stream beans, and fried chicken. And this is the rice. I just put a little water in it. This is how you revive any kind of rice that's in the refrigerator. I don't care how hard it get. Put a little water in there. Look at that. Just a little bit and throw that thing in the microwave like new again. And I just made this yesterday. I'm lying. Day before. I made it Friday. One of them weekend days. But look at that. It's back on point. We're going to slap a top on it and throw it in the corner. Okay, that's that. That's what we need to be focusing on. You see that? It's kind of dirty. Well, whatever you guys want to identify, but that's grease. That's chicken grease. We're going to leave that. We want that stuff at the bottom and pour the rest out. Get out the kitchen, Gianni. I know. Y'all hear that? Okay. I'm coming back, you guys. Now you see that, okay? We want that right there. I'm going to zoom in on this because a lot of people don't know how to make gravy. And you need to know. If you, wanna, if you want your husband to stay home, you better watch this part. I ain't talking about no canned shit either. And I'm, excuse my language. Okay? You don't need no measuring cups. Just focus. Just pay attention. Now we're gonna let the fire steam back up. Turn that fire up now. 
the seasoning is in the, the grit. All of that stuff from the leftover fried chicken, that is pretty much seasoned, okay? So you don't need to be trying to go, don't do too much. Taste, if you need some after, throw some salt in there, stir it up after. But right now, that's not your focus. Your focus is you want a cup of water on the side and a um, couple of teaspoons of flour. You want some chopped up onions, some chopped up bell peppers. If you want to do celery, chop them very small because it just gives a funny, awkward taste if it's in there. Um, with the string beans, if you don't want to do fake ones, you can do these ones too. I use the real fake ones, I think. I forgot what brand it was, but I'm just talking to that gets hot. See that sizzle? All right, it's showtime. Okay, I know I did this before, but I want you guys to really see me do it again because I got a few people asking me about it. And I'm too far to pull up on everybody and make it. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of garlic. Y'all know me, I like a lot of garlic. I like a bold taste. And I don't, you know, if you, if, you, if you like a lot of salt in your food, try to exchange it for garlic. It'll probably give you the same, not saltiness, but it'll, it will, it'll affect you the same way. That's why I use a lot of garlic to keep from salt and everything down. Now look at that. That looks good, don't it? You want that to cook a little bit. Don't worry about those black dots and all that. That's going to all pan out in a minute. You want to make sure everything's all laid out and doing good and feeling good. Now remember, don't season it yet. You don't want to, but don't. Just wait. It smells bomb, you guys, because you got that garlic and onion and bell pepper. Those are yellow bell peppers. And uh, it's smelling blessed. That's what it's smelling. I'm sorry, you My guys. My dang old memory gone stop the video anyways it ain't stopping the show i had to lower the fire and get right okay now we got this simmered down and um it's not cooked all the way through don't make a big deal out of it what you want to focus on now is getting this flour in here i'm gonna turn it up a little bit higher back high yeah i'm over here just to talk and i don't even know where it cut off at i gotta wait till i edit I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all ain't missing nothing. I just took the grease out and put some onions and garlic and uh, bell peppers in here. That was it. We're going to put a little bit, about a teaspoon. You don't want to, if you're going to do a small thing of gravy, just a teaspoon. Because this, this flour spreads. Maybe two teaspoons. Tablespoons, I mean. Look at this spoon, y'all. Don't this look like old? Let me rinse it off. y'all get the common look at this spoon look like a spoon from the, from the slave days don't it that's a little flour look at that i bet you when our ancestors used to eat off of this i'm serious now you see how that's just doing what it's doing it's already gravying up because you got that grease in there okay it's already like oh wait who came in here see when flour come in it's a party they know flour come in there with all the liquor, the drink, the everything. That's why the onions are smiling. See how it's just smooth, moving real smooth and jazzy. It's on. So it's pretty much almost done. Now you gotta slide that water in there. Okay. Don't be just throwing it in there too fast. See, they don't like water. They do not like water. Water is the party pooper, see? He was doing, but don't get scared now, because it's about to go down. You turn it low, and you just add it in there, little by little. This is the way I do it, because I like my gravy very smooth. Okay? Look at that. Now, it's looking like some paste. I know y'all probably like, what she think she doing? No, no, no. And that was just two teaspoons, so I should have probably used one, but that don't mean nothing. That's just more gravy. You see that? And if you want it darker, you guys, all you got to do is what? Turn the fire up high. 
and let that flour, right before you added the water, turn the fire up high and burn that flour a little bit, scorch it. And the darker it get, that's the browner. But this is a white gravy. See the fire's low? Gotta have that fire low. I didn't learn this overnight. See that? You gotta be on it though. You got you can't leave gravy. You gotta be right there. So if your baby burning up some, just let it burn up the house and you'll come back. You know, the house will be burnt up, but your gravy will be done. You feel me? Now, look at that. You gotta stay at it. You hear me? Look at that. See, you're getting the gravy consistency now. Because if you don't stop, if you don't if you, you don't stir it, it's going to turn into paste. Elmer's glue on that ass. So you don't want that to happen. Look at that. Perfect gravy. Okay? It don't taste like nothing. That's just nasty. That was nasty right there, y'all. Now, for those, you can add whatever you want. I like to add bouillon because it gives me a quick to the point. That taste I want. Oh, I ran out of bouillon on camera too. That's jacked up. We're gonna use some of my Tony Satchers then. That was scandalous. That was so embarrassing. Turn the fire up, okay? I mean, it didn't have no salt in that. I didn't taste it. The gravy you want, like I keep telling you guys, stay close by. If you really want that gravy to sit, and you want, I got to loosen it up now. I got it creamy and smooth, but now I got to loosen it up just a little bit more. Now, let's see. Now, that's some gravy. Mm -hmm, I can eat my finger right now. And I done. See that lumping? That's what you want. You see that? You want that to be just like that. Lump, lump, lump. But you want it a little bit smoother. It's going to get watered down anyways. When you put the top on, it's going to sweat. But this is this is cool right here. See, I like mine's a little bit looser so we can sop it up. Hear me? Y'all hear me over here? Mouth just watering. I'm about to drool inside this pot. Ooh, I can't wait to eat. Everybody said, Gigi, you, you just over there swelling up. What you be eating? Shoot, press play on my channel. You'll see. Okay, look, y'all. For real. Look at that gravy. You see that? That's what you want. You want to be able to slap that right on some rice. Your man walk in, you do that. And when he already eating, you walk up, you say, you want some more, babe? Kind of let it drip, babe. You want some more of this gravy? Want some? More? Put some on your chicken. You still got some chicken left like that. Look at him with that, that bottom lip hanging. Okay, all right. He gonna be like, yeah, babe. Yup. He gonna focus on you for a minute. Gang going and all. He gonna get that gravy in his mouth. He gonna think twice. You got your fight. Look at that. Perfect gravy. Okay, y'all. I like a little, I like my gravy a little peppery. Look at that. Perfect gravy. This gravy is so good. And it's all it's with all the stuff that's in your kitchen. Don't grab no can because that can gravy, y'all. It got the same damn grease in there, it's the same stuff. If not, it's close. Um, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna turn this down and put the top on there and let it simmer. Meanwhile, while my food's done. I'm going to make me some ghetto Kool-Aid. Yes, I did. I said it, and I don't care. Yes, I got some tap water. I got a filter at the bottom of the sink, so we'll live. And I got a lot of prayers behind my back. I'm lying. I ain't got no filter in the sink. I'm going to drink this Kool-Aid, though. I like to make mine with hot, hot water. Look at that. And um, this is the flavor that I used. It tastes bomb.com and I add about four sometimes if I don't got it like that or at least for sure six packs and this is a gallon I believe size of ocean spray container and we just shake it up get that from off that bottom 
You still got a nice container that you can, you know, this, I like these containers. They in good shape. Got handles on them. You pay this the container at the, what, Dollar Tree for a dollar? Sometimes two dollars at the market. No. When you finish drinking your juice, you save these. And there we have it. If you want to get tropical, throw some lemons in there. That's what I'm going to do too, you guys. Watch this. I'm going to throw a little lemon in there. about the half of the half days if you only certain people know i'm not gonna put it out there but if you took a half of a half you was on in the early 2000s <laughs> okay stop 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 that now reminiscing okay look squeeze that on in there try to get all the, uh, the seeds out but if you want to leave the seeds in there leave them on in there you want somebody to think you really been in the kitchen going hard they gonna be like can you made this yeah girl I met Betty. Yeah, just start pouring. They ain't gonna be able to tell. Oh, this that new? Yeah, that's that new girl. And pass when they play. But um, I make this like towards the end of the month when when, when it get funny. And everybody know the struggle people I'm talking to. You guys know the strugglers know. You gotta get real fancy on them at the end of the month because they, you know, you can't let nobody see you sweat now. That's why I miss my grain fee. Cause that she just I, that's how she mommy on my mama. Oh, she mommy on my mama. Now look at that. You got you a whole thing of orange uh, Kool Aid. It's about three liters and ain't no gallon. I don't know. It's more than a gallon. In anyways, I'm just put this in the refrigerator. I'm about to make y'all a plate so y'all can see how it came out. He promised me love. He's a provider, provider, provider. That's my yams. Yeah. Ani say yams. yams. You want yams? Yeah. You need clothes. I can't have no company over my baby don't. She she runs my home. She runs this camp. Look at that piece of chicken, y'all. Look at that. I'm gonna turn it around so y'all can see it. I ain't about to make no big old plate trying to act like I know how to eat all this food because I don't. He promised me. He's a provider, provider, provider. Now, this is our stream beans. Stream, stream, stream beans. Oh, look at them stream beans. They smell so good, y'all. I'm proud of myself. Cause I usually make them the old school way and it be taking forever, forever, forever. Let's get this rice. I love rice, you guys. I can make a big thing of rice and I would open it this bowl like this and I'll scrape on it all day and night. Breakfast, I'll throw an egg in there. And stir fry and make me some, you know, egg and um, some breakfast with it. Where my top go? Hold on. Okay. 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 Now, we swing this my way. You see me swing, yeah. I want to put the. Let me get a close up for y'all. And there you guys have it. For my Sunday dinner. And we did it again. We did it again. We did it again. I want to thank you guys for chilling with me. Hanging out with me in the kitchen per usual. And once again, we have a fried chicken, rice and gravy, yams, candy yams. We can call them syrup yams if you want. Um, and stream beans. And I was going to do hot water cornbread for my boy Stacy, but I'm going to do that next time because it got too hot in this kitchen. With all that being said, you guys have a blessed, nice, beautiful Memorial Day weekend, you guys. God bless you. Good night. Goodbye. Good evening. Good morning. Mwah. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't forget to share my, uh, share my videos. I see the share. 
um, thingy going up. So continue to share, continue to comment, continue to like, thumb me up, continue to watch, indulge, subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you can get the notification right when it's fresh out the oven so y'all can come and join me and eat with the sister. Goodbye. Mwah. Almost forgot. Uh uh. Ah, look at that. Fresh Kool Aid.